Welcome to the Swedish Maker. This week I'm making this tiny ring box with my CNC and Fusion 360. And the first thing we're going to do is dive into Fusion 360 where I created this uh, model and used cam to cut it out on my CNC. Alright, so I've opened up Fusion 360 and I'm gonna start by creating a sketch. And I'm going to split this project into two separate files in Fusion. Um, one for the bottom part of the box and one for the top part of the box. And I'm working with some limitations because of my CNC and uh, it being small. So you can change all of these values to whatever suits your needs and your limitations of your CNC of course. So I'm going to make this box, uh, I've, I've used the rectangle tool and I'm just going to make it uh, 35 by 35, like that. I want to round off the corners, so I'm going to use this tool right here, I'm clicking all of the corners and I'm going to mark 5 millimeters radius. And then we're going to use the offset tool and we're going to grab the outside of the rectangle and drag it in. So it's going to be a negative and we're going to make it minus 3.5. And then I'll get the, the same tool again. And this time we're going to make it negative 6.5. And this right here uh, is the lip of the, the box. So we're going to extrude that a bit above the edge of the uh, box. So that is basically what we need for our uh, box, I think. So we're going to finish the sketch. So I'm going to extrude some of these parts now. I'm going to start with the outer part and I want that to be about, let's say 18 millimeters. And I'm gonna activate the sketch again and I want this part to extrude as well and I want it to be two millimeters above the edge here so 20 millimeters and to create the bottom I'm just gonna go extrude and I'll select all of these parts and I'm going to extrude it negative 1.5 I guess is good so that seems pretty good. Now to create the lid of the box, I just do it all the same, but I don't extrude it all the way to 18 millimeters. And the difference is that the lip here is going to be going down two millimeters instead of up above the box. So I'm not gonna create that for now because it's just, everything is similar about it. And now that we have our box, it's time to go to manufacture, the old cam function. And the first thing we're gonna do is set it up. So I'm going to select uh, the box point and I want it to be this corner and make sure that your X and Y axis are in the right place. Uh, for the stock, put in your whatever material you have put in the size here and also if you want the model to be in the center of the of the piece you have so in my case I don't have a very big CNC uh, so I cannot have it 30 millimeters so the piece I'm using is 23 millimeters and hit OK and also I'm going to cut the last piece uh, of this box on my bandsaw um, just because my my drill bit and my CNC can't cut all the way through. So now that we have this set up, we're going to create the milling operations and we're going to start with a 2D pocket. And it wants us to select a tool and my tool I have already imported in here. Uh, so you can add new tools up here and just give it all of your dimensions of your 
mill tool. Uh, the coolant is disabled. My motor is 10,000 RPM and I'm just gonna leave all the rest of these settings uh, because I found that it works for me. So uh, for the pockets, I wanna select this pocket, this pocket and the outer pocket. And next step for me is to change these these heights because the clearance height is set to 10 millimeters and I don't have 10 millimeters above my workpiece so I'm just going to change these it does give me a warning when I do like this because of the linking parts uh, settings but uh, it doesn't matter and I also want to check multiple depths and I want to set it to 0 0.5 millimeters per per um, step down per pass so it doesn't go all the way through at once and I think that's about it so I'm going to check OK and as you can see it gives me a warning and it's because uh, the position of the toolpath the sum of the ramp clearance height and I, you don't need to worry about that for cutting it uh, so the next step is to uh, uh, cut the outer parts of the box. So we're going to go 2D and contour. And it's basically all the same. Uh, I'm just going to select this and the bottom part instead. And I'm going to change this as well to the same as the previous. And multiple depths 0.5. So Fusion has, uh, if you hover over something, it actually explains the settings. So once you try this, you should go in and just read about all the settings just to make it fit your needs. So that's about it. And now we can actually simulate. If we right click setup and simulate, we can simulate the tool paths. Uh, just hit play. And if you want to see the stock, you can hit the stock here and it will show you what it look like what it looks like with the stock so this is what it's going to do and you can speed this up so once I'm satisfied satisfied with that I'm going to right click on setup and I'm gonna choose post process now uh, I'm using easel from Inventables and they actually have a, a post processor file you can download and uh, use for post processing and uh, I'm I've used that and it works good so I'm just gonna hit OK and I'm gonna save this as whatever dot NC because that's where you're gonna use when you import it in easel uh, once in easel you can just go import G code choose that file you saved and there it is, it's going to show you where on the workpiece it's going to cut it and you can, you can simulate it here as well. And then we can just go ahead and carve it. And then I'll do everything the same for the top piece and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so now that both of the pieces are cut on the CNC, I'm going to cut the rest of them on the bandsaw, uh, just tracing around the outer line here, and then I'll sand off the rest.
So I guess that's it. It turned out to be just a tiny, tiny ring box, but I put some foam in it and it actually holds a ring. Kind of nicely. I just wanted to try out the, the capabilities of the CNC, which it's a really small CNC I have, and I'm going to do a review of it uh, next week. So if you want to see that, uh, keep an eye out for that on Sunday. You could probably fix this up with some uh, oil and maybe round off the corners a bit, maybe stamp the top of it with something. I don't actually need a ring box, I just wanted to try it out. So. For this project, I'm just gonna leave it like this. That's it for this week. I really hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye.